All right, y'all, you're now live with the one and only UNG radio station. It's a special edition of The Truth, and today we're about to talk to the people about uh, the small businesses in America that were affected by the COVID-19 slash coronavirus. We're talking major cities, Los Angeles, New York City, Chicago, Miami. There's a bunch of businesses that was hurt during the COVID-19, you know what I'm saying? Whether they got rioted slash looped or whether um, they were put out of business because they made everybody stay home. Some people had to go get relief funds. Some people had to go get unemployment. It was a lot that went on. So today we're here with the one and only Brother L and the one and only Bree. Bree is the CEO of the B-Spot. All right, it's a beauty, uh, the B-Spot Beauty. And she's going to talk to you uh, about her company and let you know how she feels about, uh, or she has some important report or, uh, information that can help us all, and Brother L does too. How y'all doing tonight? We're doing good. All right now, you know what I'm saying? We had a shaky start, but we're ready to go. Let's get it in, y'all. You know what I'm saying? UNG Radio States for the people. Shout out to everybody on Instagram that's tuning in with us, and shout out to everybody on YouTube that's rocking with us. Shorty Bree is in the building, you know what I'm saying? Before I get started, can I ask you, uh, what does your company uh, provide? Yeah, so we do natural skin care, no chemicals, no like added preservatives, nothing like that. Um, it's just like all good for you, all plant-based. All right, plant-based? Mm -hmm. For some people who don't know, I know what it is. Tell people what is plant-based got to do with your company. Um, it's just that the ingredients, they come from plants and just things that are here on the earth already, so... All natural. All natural. Yeah. All right. I know you specialize in a lot of shea butter, like. Mhm. Mm okay. Yeah. We have a bunch of different butters. We have like a sensitive skin butter. Um, if you're dealing with hyperpigmentation, we have a men's butter. Um, just all kind of different stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, brother L, the I can't breathe, man. Give me a little definition on your I can't breathe. What you got going? Yeah, hey, I can't breathe. You got a voice, so you can breathe. So you know, you can make your voice be heard. That's right. Plain and simple, straight to the point. Let your voice be heard. And that's what we do right here at UNG Radio. Your voice needs to be heard. All right? Now, check this out. Now, the businesses that uh, have been hurt throughout America, let's talk about uh, the recovery. How, the, how can they recover? Somebody throw an idea out at you know, to, to, for the people that's listening. They, they might have had a little uh, hair salon or a barbershop or that, that had less than 10 employees. Because for those who don't know, in order for you to get the federal grant, or federal loan, you have to have 10 employees if you're an independent company. And for those who don't know who an independent company is, it's a, I'm going with barbershop to keep it simple. A barbershop usually has like five chairs or 10 chairs. They have 10 employees. And they they have to pay for a license with the city where they put the, the license on the wall that you know they're legit and then people come in and pay to get their hair done. So whoever the owner or whoever the person is that's leasing or renting the place, has to go down to the IRS once a month or once a year and pay his taxes. Mm -hmm. So that is considered uh, independent business. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, McDonald's is a franchise, so you guys will know the difference. Now, uh, when the COVID-19 hit, they made everybody go home and stay home, so a lot of companies were shut down. As you know, the hat that I'm wearing, y'all, for y'all can see, the big three, Ice Cube, he goes every summer, and uh, his company was shut down where they couldn't do the big three. The NBA was shut down, the NFL, uh, a lot of companies. You know, the places that stayed open were like food, uh, restaurants, mm -hmm. hospitals, police departments, stuff like that. They stayed open. So for all the little companies is what we're specializing in today. So um, the, minor the minority was hit hard, Bree. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? How did it affect your company? Did you have customers coming to you, or you had to go to customers? Or you was on pause? Um, you know what? It didn't It didn't affect me um, too badly, actually. Okay. So um, I was able to, um, with the use of like masks and stuff, for safety, to still be able to get people their products, whether that, um, whether that be like by delivery or if I was meeting them somewhere. Uh, we also have shipping available. So like if you're um, in a different, in a different county, in a different state, um, that helped out a lot. And I think because we had all of these, uh, or we have all this time, right. people are becoming more aware of the things that uh, they're doing okay. or can do to like better themselves. And so, yeah. You know, a lot of people did better themselves mm -hmm. by staying home for these three slash four months. They got to focus on themselves, learn what they was going to do as they come back and attack. Right. You know what I mean? So, Brother L, man, give us uh, what you got to say right there, big bro. Yeah, you know, um, we're talking about the, the COVID-19, that's what you do? No, no, we're talking about the small businesses that oh, uh, yeah, got yeah. hit hard. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, they got um, the small businesses. Had a lot to do with the COVID-19, but we got to understand this big businesses, um, you know, billionaires is uh, funding Black Lives Matter. So we got to understand the protest is, um, is bigger than the people you see on the street. And most of the um, protesters you see out there is police officers burning down the police stations. It's facts. You can look that up right now. So, you know, it's a bigger agenda. Wow. That would be a trip if they had a list of small companies they was going to burn down. Or whatever, you know what I mean? But uh, people went outside their company with spray paint and wrote on the wall, uh, black owned business or, or minority owned business, Spanish owned business, so that nobody would burn their companies down. And uh, that right there was important. But like I said, it's bigger than that. All right, some companies got shut down before the protesting because mm -hmm. of the COVID 19. So the employees had to go to the unemployment office or they were out of a job. And now that the United States is somewhat reopening, uh, some of those small businesses didn't get no relief funds and they didn't open back up. So that's what we're here to talk about today. I got a, a site that uh, I got a, the U.S. Uh, chambers, uh, the, the U.S. Chambers of Commerce. They, if you go on your phone or your laptop and go to Google and type in the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, they have a relief fund page where you can go there. They have two pages. One is a loan, one is a grant. You can go to either one of them. The loan, as you know, it's like college. They will give you some money in advance if you qualify and you have to pay it back. Now, in order for you to qualify slash be eligible, you have to have 10 employees, right? And that is, uh, for those who don't know what 10 employees are, that means you have employees on a payroll, all right? Minimum wage varies in different states. Some states is 15, some is 10, some seven, stuff like that. So you have to have your paperwork together. That's what it's really all about, ladies and gentlemen have your paperwork together, you know what I'm saying, and then you can apply for these relief funds, you know what I mean, and the relief funds are federal relief funds. Now, for those who don't know, uh, the United States, they released a stimulus check last month, or two months ago, born on two months, all right, and uh, the thing with that is, this right here, they're about to have a second one, and the second one, uh, they signed the paper somewhat already, so it's supposed to come out. Now, uh, I know a person, this is a personal opinion. Now they kind of disappointed about all the protesting and all the money they lost during the looting and all that, right? So they're going to hesitate on giving the money out, all right? But they got to give it out because people are not going back to work still because they don't have a job. You know what I'm saying? The unemployment, you know what I mean? Um, did you have to apply for unemployment? Or like you said, it didn't hurt you really, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no. So do you, do you have employees working with your company by yourself? Yeah, so it's just me. Um, well... In a way, like I make all the products and stuff, but I definitely have a support system there. But um, luckily, like we weren't affected in a way that some of the other businesses were. You have a team, though, right? I do. All right, your team is your team. Yeah. How do you guys grow gross income? Um. So really, it's just by get, like educating people, getting our products out there. Um. We have a lot of. If you go to the um the B Spot Beauty, which is our Instagram handle. You'll see a lot of different um, reviews and like results, and so like that's really what it's about. Like getting, being able to show people like how um, natural skincare can work for you. Wow! And then it kind of like you know that's a big franchise because you got actors that need skincare. You got people, just people all over the world want to take care of their skin. Yeah. You know, and so that's a major, major company, and you can turn it into a franchise, and may you get all the success in the world today. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So me and brother L every Sunday night, but tonight is Saturday. It's a special edition. We, uh, we go live, and uh, we interview people, and that's how we make money here at UNG Radio Station. They donate. So if you're out there live, you know what I'm saying, you like what we're doing, you want to come into the radio station like Shorty Bree, or you want to go live with us on Instagram or YouTube or whatever, hit us up. We'll shoot you details, and we'll go live. Or if you need me to come out to your event and go live on the radio, I can do that also. You know what I'm saying? Because it's all about networking, all right? Because uh, they say, where will, you, where, where will uh, the B spot be in five years? So um, in five years, I would love to be like in a storefront in in our community, like maybe somewhere like Lumert Park or something like that, just because I feel like um, we need more representation. That's part of the reason why I even started the B-Spot, um, especially people of color, black people. We need more representation um, in stores and we're not getting it. And so, yeah, in five years, I just want to be like in the storefront and that's just tight. be able to give back to our community. Wow. Hey, now, L, that's you right there. Lamert Park is your stomping ground. Yeah. Okay, give us a little history on Lamert Park. Some people don't know about Lamert Park. 
But in Lamar Park, you know, it's a lot of black owned businesses in Lamar Park. It's a whole lot of revolutionaries that go and, you know, teach other people in Lamar Park. So, you know, this is a black owned area. So, you know, we need to go support them businesses, you know, and, you know, that's, if you want to make a change to support, you know, the small black businesses. That's right. And that's a, that's a change right there. Yo, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I'm glad, he's, I'm glad he brought that up. It's time to make a change. And today's show, we got a few sponsors. I, uh, some people reached out to me and wanted me to advertise about, uh, you know, well, we got black dogs now. And there's an athlete. She's in the Olympics. Her name is uh, Malaka Mahambo. And uh, she's from Africa. She does the long jump. She runs and jumps in the sand or whatever. I'm not exactly sure if I'm saying it right. But she has a dog. And you can go on her line. Once again, that's Malaka Mahambo. All right? Go check out her new dog. Go to my page, UNG Radio Station. And I posted it in the storyline where you can see the dog. Purchase a dog. Share it with your niece, uh, your granddaughter, your daughters, even your aunties. Grandma, you can buy one and put it on the shelf, you know. It's a beautiful thing, you know what I'm saying. And uh, that right there is powerful. And today's show also is sponsored by a young brother. In the city of Gardena, he has his own t-shirt shop. He specializes in making hats, shirts. It's called MISC Designs. Inside the Gardena Swat Meet, right off of Van Ness. And Rose Cram, y'all check out MSC Designs, you know what I'm saying? They got some real decent prices for you over there. Now, we talking about businesses, and I've been dealing with a lot of independent businesses ever since the COVID jumped off, right? Uh, State versus Us Magazine, a young lady named Tia Hamilton that runs her own magazine, oh, it was very helpful. Yeah, she's helping out prisoners, people that's in jail right now. They can get early releases. She's been helping them out extremely strong, all right? And... Um, we, we, got, uh, we got a lot. We got the family business. We got DJ Eclipse, uh, The Grind. The Grind is a young lady who owns her own television, I mean, owns her own um, shirt, uh, clothing line. She has onesies for ladies, fit one size fits all, purses. Uh, and also, we got Over Media TV, a young lady named Cassandra Cooper who owns her own television channel. And uh, usually on Sundays, Miss Very Sexy Lady, she has a charity where she raises money to help students with, um, with uh, tuition fees. She helps them with shoes to, to walk across the stage or shirts. And she also helps them out with resumes. Some people might not know how to do a resume to get jobs. Even though they're in college and they're very educated, they, they never worked. They're fresh out of high school. You know, you, you went to college. What school you went to? I went to San Diego State. San Diego, SDU in the building. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So how was San Diego State? Um, it was it was an interesting experience for me. I will definitely say, especially if you're on my live um, and you're going to college, I'd say try to take advantage of all the aspects of college. I did not, um, I didn't really take advantage of the social part of college. And mm. so that's something that I definitely recommend because it's important to the experience as a whole. Well, I'm going to say one thing before we go to break here, y'all. Starting from today, for everybody on YouTube and on Instagram and that's on, on the radio station or listening in on your phone or your laptop, start being more serious about you, okay? Mm -hmm. Focus on you. Stop promoting others. Forget promoting others. It's time to get serious. Focus on how can you get your Instagram page up, your, your Facebook page up, your Twitter page up. What it is, you're going to have to go into your settings. You're going to have to figure out how to talk with these people, communicate with them, so the major companies might want to advertise on your page. So that way you can get the money for the impressions so people can see your activity. If you know, No disrespect, I don't really go off likes, but the world does. They want to see how many views, how many likes. If you got a million followers, then Coca-Cola might like what you're doing, and they'll start doing it. You know what I'm saying? And lately online, a lot of people have been advertising companies that don't support black-owned businesses, mm -hmm. right? So regardless of the companies who don't support us, you're going to have to be strong and focus on you. Save your money. It's time to stop going out there spending so much money on a bunch of BS. Go get your products from an independent company like the the uh, the, Be the Beast by Beauty. All right, you can go down there and get your shea butters. You can get your natural, you know, your natural care, skin care. Uh, you can advertise your companies right here with UNG Radio Station. You need some advertisement or some information. Brother L got you on that. You know, we can help you with uh, uh, guiding you to not get a loan, more or less get a grant because you don't have to pay the grant back. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But right now they're offering grants for the, the COVID disaster is what they're calling it. You know what I'm saying? This is very serious, y'all. We have seminars where you can go sit down and talk or listen and get uh, very valuable information on how you can get these grants if you don't know. Or, or you can reach out to somebody. Or you can go on your phone to Google and Google it. Or, or uh, you know what I'm saying? Do your history. Study. You know, because right now on Instagram, you got people getting a lot of likes, but they're not paying attention. You can get paid for your impressions. 
You can get paid for your activities. You can get paid for this stuff right here. You know what I mean? And that is important. The likes is cool, but the likes and the following is just showing the major companies that you have a following. But the money comes from your hard work and your dedication, cutting folks out. If you think this is a one overnight success, it's not. You got to actually put in the work. You got to go to work. You know what I'm saying? And this is UNG Radio Station, home for the underground. You know what I'm saying? Where we build people's confidence, where we help each other out, and we work together, y'all. You know what I'm saying? We're going to go to a quick break right quick. I got a song right here by Keandra coming out of Oakland, California. Gang, gang. It's independent. We're going to get this for the people, y'all. All right, y'all? UNG Radio Station, the home for the unsigned artists.